Hi, Ben. Hello, Morgan. Nice talking to you. Uh, you know, in Norway now, uh, we have just for one week now, the cinemas here in Norway has all opened. So, uh, so I've actually been four times to the cinemas uh, the past week. <laughs> I'm so envious right now. So we're going to talk about what kind of uh, art and heist and also intricate uh, relationship movies we, we like. So, uh, Morgan, what's your what uh, kind of films have you picked? I mean, um, the funny thing is, I told you this when I first saw your film. I thought I, j I could see Bergman all over it, and I, I came to find out that that was you know that Igmar Bergman is one of your favorite filmmakers. So maybe tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so that's, uh, of course, a huge compliment. I think that um, Ingmar Bergman is, uh, is my favorite uh, film director, both because he's so creative, and I think that his films will live for hundreds of years. And um, for me, filmmaking is about uh, kind of digging into the human soul. Like, for instance, w uh, Wild Strawberries, what an influential film that is, and it's a combination of, uh, of dreams, memories, and a road movie. And it adds a bit of comedy there as well. Uh, we were asked to, uh, to uh, kind of talk about heist movies. So I think that one film I want to talk about is uh, Sam Pecking Pass, The Getaway. Because uh, the opening scene of that film, the opening montage of that film is a prison montage. And I, I love that prison montage. It's actually highly uh, inspired uh, the, the, the prison scene in, in my film, The Painter and the Thief. Uh, and what I love about it, it's that uh, Sam Peckinpah, he uses a montage with the repetitions. And uh, that montage really manages to get an emotion of how it is to be in prison. So he used a formal approach to convey an emotion. I think it does it beautifully in the opening scene. I mean, but it's also a heist film, but it opens with the prison scene. So I think that's a, that's a great uh, film and a great opening scene that uh, has influenced uh, the painter and the thief a lot. I was thinking about art documentaries because something else they had mentioned. And, uh, and I love art documentaries. I made one of them called The Cool School about art in LA, modern art. Um, but I was thinking about a film um, which is kind of an art film and kind of a heist film at the same time called The Art of the Steel about this, um, the Barnes Museum in Philadelphia. And uh, I thought it was a th thoroughly entertaining and interesting film that incorporates both the heist elements and, and scandal and, and art all into one. I don't know if you've ever seen that film. I've actually not seen it, but I, of course I would uh, love to see it. Uh, and yeah, and art documentaries, of course, there's a lot of great art documentaries. And um, I love Exit Through the Gift Shop. I love uh, Cutie and the Boxer. Uh, and I also really like, I think it's Peter Watkins, uh, Edvard Munch. Uh, have you seen some of those uh, three films? Oh, yeah. I love all those films, but particularly um, The Cutie and the Boxer, I definitely see a through line from that film to your film. Thank you for that. Uh, I think that's a, a, great, a great film. And it's, it's also an inspiration because they, they both tell the story of, of, of course, Cutie and the Boxer. <laughs> and I love the, the way they do that. And I love the way they use animation uh, to convey uh, uh, the cutest, uh, cutest story. So uh, that's a, and it's beautifully shot. I think it's one of the uh, uh, most beautiful shot documentaries I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I see many similarities with your film. Um, you know, the cinematography, the intimacy, um, the uh, music. I actually love the music so much for Cutie and the Boxer. It's not available commercially, but I got the director to give me a copy just so I could listen to it for myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> But that I sense, totally that sense also that, that are we watching a documentary? You know, it feels like, as with your film, that we're watching an amazing movie that's just unfolding perfectly before our eyes. So, yeah, uh, thank you for that, of course. <laughs> okay, well, those are some good recommendations, right? <laughs> Have we, are we good? We could go on forever. <laughs> But I really hope that uh, you get to go to the cinemas pretty soon, Morgan. I would love love it, um, but so I don't know. Go we're go we're not Norway. I wish I wish we were these days. So I'll send you selfies of myself every time I go to the cinema, so you can envy me. Thank you, thank you. Please. Well, great seeing you, Ben. Thanks for the talk, Morgan.